Hi, my name is Cheng Wang, a master's student at Qinghua University. The paper I will be presenting today is NERF SR, High Quality Neural Radiance Fields Using Super Sampling. This is a joint work of Qinghua University and Kuaishou Technology. For more information of our paper, please visit the project page listed at the bottom. First, I'd like to talk about the task of novel view synthesis, where we get multiple input images of a given 3D scene with the corresponding camera poses, and the goal is to get a photorealistic output images of the same scene of the same scene at novel viewpoints. A main drawback of current novel view synthesis methods is that they only achieve good results on input resolutions. However, to provide an immersive experience for users, VR and AR applications often require high resolution, for example 2K or even 4K 3D scenes. But images captured with phones and collected from the internet are still far from this. Therefore, the goal of our work is to synthesis photorealistic novel views with limited low resolution inputs and at the same time also has the flexibility to incorporate limited high-resolution images, such as for panoramas and night-field imaging systems. Our work is built upon the current state-of-the-art novel synthesis method neural radiance fields, NERF. NERF encodes a 3D scene in a continuous multi-layer perceptron, which takes as input the spatial coordinate and the view direction of a 3D point, and outputs the color and density. To train a nerve, we sample P from all of the pixels denoted by capital P here in our training images and shoot rays RP through the pixel centers and derive its color hat P hat C of RP through volume rendering. Then the mean squared error of predicted pixel color and ground truth color is minimized to optimize the neural network. It's not hard to find that nerve has the property of earning arbitrary scale images thanks to the MLP representation. But what would happen if we actually do this? There is a gap between training and testing phase. The render rate directions are never seen even at training stage, and each pixel at higher resolutions will correspond to a much smaller spatial area than training. Regarding this issue, we propose a super sampling strategy to erase the training and testing gap. We start from the image formation process. For given pixel P, colored blue here, NERF only shoots one ray and assigns color to be the pixel color. However, there are infinite many other ray directions going through the pixel, for example the two rays shown here. Let RP denotes a set of all possible ray directions for pixel P, then the actual color of P can be expressed as this equation. Here E is the irradiance over the area covered by P, which is a function of RP and F is the camera response function. Ideally, the training directions for pixel P should be sampled from RP instead, but it is time and computational consuming. Therefore, in our work to super-resolve images at the scale of S, we first even speed a pixel from training set into a S times S grid subpixel SP. Here we show an example of S equals 2. We can see that one pixel is divided into four subpixels. We can then predict the color uh, of each subpixel using a MLP directly. In notation, during training stage, redirections RJ for pixel P will be sampled from the subpixels instead. Here J represents subpixels P. R prime of P is a subpixel of RP. But how to supervise those subpixels given only ground truth color of the whole pixel? Inspired by the graphics pipeline, we tackle this issue by computing the color for subpixels in R prime P using equation 1, and then average them and compare with the color of P. Then the loss function in original nerve can be extended to this equation. With subsampling, the synthesis image achieves much better video quality than vanilla nerve. However, when the image for a scene do not have enough subpixel correspondence, the results of subsampling cannot find enough details for high quality resolution synthesis. Also, often there are limited high resolution images from which HR content are available for further improving the results. Here, we present a patch-based refinement network to recover high-frequency details that works even in an extreme case. For example, only one HR reference is available. But our system is not limited to this and can be easily extended to multiple HR references. We do adopt a patch-by-patch -patch refine strategy that turns an HR patch P tilde into the refined patch P. Other than P tilde, the input also includes HR patches from the HR reference. We use a unit based architecture and encode P tilde and P ref. The encoded features of P ref are max pooled and concatenated with that of P, which is 
which is then decoded to generate the refined patch. In the training phase, P tilde from synthesis HR image from subassembly at the same camera post of the HR reference, and the P ref is sampled at adjacent regions of P tilde to account for the inaccuracy of reference patches at the testing time. The loss function is a combination of L1 loss and perceptual loss. When testing, PREF is obtained while depth warping because the camera process of testing images is different from that of the HR reference. Through depth warping, we fully utilize the estimated 3D geometry and propagate the details of HR reference over to all over the scene. We train and test our method on two datasets as in original NERF paper, namely the Blender dataset that have eight detailed synthetic objects with 100 images for training and another 200 for testing. The other object is LLFF dataset that consists of eight real-world forward-facing datasets, uh, forward-facing scenes. We evaluate on three common use uh, metrics, which are peak signal-to-noise ratio, structural similarity index measure, and L pipes. In terms of baselines, since we are the first to consider super-resolution for novel view synthesis, we devise four reasonable baselines for comparisons. The first one is vanilla nerve that train on low-resolution inputs and directly render high-resolution images. The second one is Nerf BI that uses the same train model as the, as in the Nerf baseline, but render uh, low resolution novel views and upsample them using bicubic sampling instead. Nerf LIIF and Nerf Swing are then in a similar way, in which low resolution novel views are further rendered with Nerf and upsampled using LIIF and the Swing IR model respectively. LIIF is chosen because it achieves state-of-the-art performance on continuous single-image super-resolution, and Swing IR is the state-of-the-art method on single-image super-resolution. We first show the results on Blender dataset. Rendering from Nerf BI exhibit, exhibit correct global shapes but lack high-frequency details. Vanilla Nerf produces renderings that can have more details than Nerf BI if the scene is already re reconstructed at input resolution. However, it is still re is restricted by the information in the input image. Nerf LIIF can, cover some, can recover some details, but lacks enough texture. Nerf swing and have the second best air pipes, providing good video quality, but cannot even compete with Nerf SR and PSNR and SSIM since it predicts false geometry. We can see from the Logon model here. Nerf SR find subpixel level correspondence through subassembly, which means missing details in the input can be found from other views that lie in the liberal region in 3D space. In terms of quant quantitative comparison, Nerf SR outperforms other baselines in all scenarios over all metrics. Please refer to our paper for details. Here we show a video comparison of different models. We can see that Nerf SR has a much better video quality and correct geometry. This is a result of the LLFF dataset. We can see that Nerf and Nerf BI suffers from blurry inputs, while Nerf LIF and Nerf Swing recover some details and achieve satisfying video quality. Uh, uh, comparable L pipes compared to our method, since they are trained on external datasets. They tend to be over smooth and even predicts first color or geometry. See the leaves of flower in figure 6 uh, in our paper. Nerf SR fill in details on the complex things and outperforms other baselines significantly. The inference time of the refinement stage is negligible compared to Nerf's volumetric rendering. It is clear to say that the refinement network boosts subsamily with texture details and edge sharpness, especially for the upscale of 4. We also create a virtual camera pass for LLFF dataset. We can see from the first row that SuperSampling is able to create high quality low views with low res inputs. The videos in the second row shows that the refinement network further boosts its performance. To conclude, we present Nerf SR, the first pipeline for HR low view synthesis with low res inputs and achieve photorealistic renderings without any external data. We exploit the 3D consistency in NERF from two perspectives, subassembly strategy that finds corresponding points through multi-views in subpixels, and depth-guided refinement that hallucinates details from relevant patches on an HR reference image. Finally, region-sensitive subassembly and a generalized NERF super-resolution may be explored for future works. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for watching.